Hi! Welcome back to our part 2 in discussing finding the equation of quadratic function. But in this video lesson, we are given with the graph. So how are we going to find the equation of the quadratic function given the graph? So this video lesson is related to our first video lesson regarding finding the equation of a quadratic function given the table of values. So let us start. So if we are to determine the equation of the quadratic function given the graph, we need to follow some steps. So let us have some examples. This is example number one. So if we are given with this parabola or graph, which is described by a parabola that opens upward, what is its corresponding equation? So the first thing that we should do, step number one, we need to locate and identify the coordinates of the vertex. So remember, the vertex is the highest and the lowest point of the parabola. So in this case, this is the vertex. So what is the coordinates of the vertex? So the vertex has the coordinates negative 1, comma, negative 5. So after identifying the vertex, step number 2, we need to find or identify coordinates of any point on the parabola. So you may choose any point as long as that point is on the parabola. So in this example, let us choose this point. So this point is described by the coordinates 0, negative 4. So there, we already have two points, the vertex and any point on the parabola. So next, we will be using our vertex form of quadratic function given by y is equal to a times the square of the binomial x minus h plus k in order for us to get the, uh, the equation of this quadratic function described by the parabola. So how are we going to do that? We need to substitute the coordinates of the vertex and the identified point in this equation. Then we need to simplify the equation in order for us to get the value of a. So h here is negative 1, k is negative 5, x that we are going to use will be 0, and y will be negative 4 in order for us to get the value of a. So let us fill in the blanks. So y here is negative 4, x is 0, h is negative 1, and k is negative 5. Then we simplify first what is inside the grouping symbol. So 0 minus negative 1, that will be positive 1. 1 squared will be 1. 1 times a, that will be 1a. Then positive times negative 5, that will become negative 5. So therefore, the resulting equation will be negative 4 is equal to a minus 5. And by transposing negative 5 to the other side of the equation or applying addition property of equality, we will obtain negative 4 plus 5 is equal to a. So therefore, we have now the value of a which is equal to 1. So after getting the value of a, step number 4, using a, h, and k, write the equation of the quadratic function in vertex form. So this is the vertex form. The value of h is negative 1 and the value of k is negative 5. A that we've got a while ago is equal to 1. We just need to substitute. So therefore, A is equal to 1, H is negative 1, and K is negative 5. Negative times negative, that will become positive. Then this part, positive times negative, that will become negative. So therefore, we have Y is equal to 1 times the square of the binomial X plus 1 minus 5. Then, since the value of A here is 1, we can write it as y is equal to the square of the binomial x plus 1 minus 5. So if the equation is like this, it is automatic that the value of a is 1. And if you are asked to rewrite this uh, quadratic function in standard form, so that will just be equal to y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 4. So therefore, either of the two equations will describe the given graph. So let us now proceed with example number 2. So we are to get the equation of this quadratic function given or described by a parabola that opens downward. So we will still be applying the same, uh, the same steps. Step number one, locate and identify the coordinates of the vertex. So the vertex lies at here. So we have 5, 2. And then next, we need to get any point on the graph. In this case, let us use this point. So this point is given by 3, negative 2. 
And then, after identifying the vertex and a point on the graph, we will be substituting hkxy to our uh, vertex form of the quadratic function. So let us do that. So the value of h is 5, k is 2. The, the values of x and y that we are going to use in order for us to solve for the value of a will be 3 and negative 2 respectively. So let us now fill in the blanks. The value of y is negative 2, x is 3, minus the value of h is 5, and the value of k is 2. So let us first simplify what's inside the grouping symbol. So 3 minus 5, that will become negative 2. Negative 2 squared will become positive 4. 4 times a, that will be 4a. So therefore, we now have negative 2 is equal to 4a plus 2. So let us now transpose positive 2 to the other side of the equation. So we now have negative 2 minus 2 is equal to 4a. Negative 2 minus, that will become negative 4, is equal to 4a. And by dividing both sides by 4 to get the value of a, we now have a is equal to negative 1. So again, we need the vertex and the value of a. We just need to substitute a, h, and k to our vertex form. So h is 5, k is 2. Let us now fill in the blanks. The value of a is negative 1, so put negative 1. Then the value of h here is 5, and the value of k is 2. If we are going to simplify, we will now have y is equal to negative 1 times the square of the binomial x minus 5 plus 2. We can actually rewrite this one as y is equal to negative of the square of the binomial x minus 5 plus 2. In this case, since no number is uh, seen here, it is automatically to be negative 1. Okay? And if you are going to change this one in standard form, it is just equivalent to y is equal to negative x squared plus 10x minus 23. Okay? So let us now proceed. How about if we are not given with the vertex and we cannot accurately determine the vertex? So the, the thing that you will do is this other method. Okay? So the other method is related to determining or finding the, the equation of a quadratic function given the table of values. If you can remember, in using table of values, we are choosing three points. In this case, we can also use three points. We need to identify uh, three points that can be found on the graph exactly or accurately that you can find. Okay? So there, locate and identify the coordinates of at least three points. So there, let us use this one, 4, 1. So the first point is A, let us name it as A. Then the second point will be here. Let us choose 3, negative 2. And the other one is 6, 1. So therefore, we now have completed identifying 3 points. Next, after identifying 3 points, we will be substituting each one of them in our standard form given by y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Then we need to solve for the values of a, b, and c by systems of linear equation. In this example, we will use elimination. Okay, substituting 4 and 1, so the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 1. So therefore, we have 1 is equal to a times 4 squared plus b times 4 plus c. Simplifying, 4 squared is 16. 16 times a is 6a. b times 4 will be 4b. So therefore, that will be 1 is equal to 16a plus 4b plus c. Okay, this will be our equation number 1. So next, same process will be uh, applied for point number 2 or ordered pair number 2. Substituting the value of x is 3 and the value of y is negative 2. We now have negative 2 is equal to a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. 3 squared is 9. 9 times a will be 9a. b times 3 will be 3b. Thus, we have negative 2 is equal to 9a plus 3b plus c. And let us consider this as equation number 2. And then the last one, same process, the value of x is 6, and then the value of y is 1. Substituting and simplifying, 6 squared is 36, 36 times a, that will be 36a. b times 6, that will be 6b. Thus, equation number 3 will be 1 is equal to 36a plus 6b plus c. Okay, 
So let us now use systems of linear equation. And if you can see, we can actually eliminate C here using equations 1 and 2 and using equations 2 and 3. And if you are going to subtract equations 1 and 2, C will be eliminated. If you are going to subtract equations 2 and 3, C will also be eliminated. So let us solve and eliminate C using equations 1 and 2. If you are going to subtract the two equations, automatically the subtrahend, the terms in the subtrahend will change. So from negative 2 is equal to 9a plus 3b plus c, this will become 2 is equal to 9, negative 9a minus 3b minus c. And then we need to proceed with addition. So 1 plus 2, that will be 3. 16a plus negative 9a will be 7a. 4b plus negative 3b will be b. Then c plus negative c will be 0. So this will be our equation number 4. Now, let us eliminate C using equations 2 and 3. There are equations 2 and 3. Subtracting those equations, again, we need to change the sign of the subtrahend. So this will become positive 2. This will become negative 9A, negative 3B, and negative C. Okay. We will be proceeding with addition. 1 plus 2, that will be 3. 36A plus negative 9A will be 27A. 6b plus negative 3b will be positive 3b. c plus negative c will be 0. If you can see, all of the terms or the numerical coefficients of each term are divisible by 3. So dividing all the terms by 3, we will now have 1 is equal to 9a plus b. And let us consider this one as equation number 2. Okay? So we have, we've already eliminated the variable c. So let us now find the value of a using equations 4 and 5. So what are we going to do in order for us to eliminate B and find the value of A? We will be again subtracting the equations. So this will become negative 3, negative 7A, and negative B. So there. Then we proceed with addition. So 1 plus negative 3, that will be negative 2. 9A plus negative 7A, that will be 2A. So, D plus negative B, that will be 0. So, if you are going to divide both sides by 2, the value of A will now be equal to negative 1. So, next, let us find the value of B. Substitute A to either equation 4 or 5. So, in this case, let us use equation 4 to find the value of B. So, we have 3 is equal to 7A plus B. The value of A here is negative 1. So, just substitute so that will become 3 is equal to 7 times negative 1 plus b. 7 times negative 1 will be negative 7. Then, transposing negative 7 to the other side of the equation, that will be 3 plus 7 is equal to b. So therefore, b is equal to 10. Then, after that, getting the values of a and b, the next step is to find c. Substitute a and b to equations 1, 2, or 3. In this case, let us use equation 2. So, substituting the values of A and B, we have negative 2 is equal to 9 times negative 1 plus 3 times 10 plus C. 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. 3 times 10, that will be positive 30. So, thus, we have negative 2 is equal to negative 9 plus 30 plus C. Negative 9 plus 30 is 21. So, that will be 21 plus C is equal to negative 2. Then, let us transpose 21 to the other side of the equation. And simplifying, we have C is equal to negative 23. So, after getting the values of A, B, and C, next is to substitute these values to our standard form. So, that will be Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. Substituting, so that will become Y is equal to negative X squared plus 10X minus 23. So if you can see and if you can remember, this equation is just similar to the uh, equation that we've turned to standard form in our example number 2. So therefore, we can say that using the vertex and any point as well as determining three accurate points will yield or will result to the same equation of quadratic function. Okay? So... 
I hope that you've learned something for today about equation of quadratic function given the graph. So if you've got something for today, please do not forget to like, subscribe if you are new in our channel, and share. The next video lesson will be all about, so this will be the part 3, the last part. Uh, determining the equation of a quadratic function given the zeros of the function. This is Sir Jude. Good day.